Hey YouTubers, this is going to be a video response to the gun websites. He was showing off his military patches. So I'm going to show you the patches I got. Some of them aren't military, but I just thought they were cool. I like the graphics on them. So here we go. What I do is I just sew them onto this the vest here. It's what I'm going to wear when I shoot IDPA. So here we go. Now I know this one is a Canadian military, but I can't remember what it's from. I found these at an antique shop. They're Canadian Forces Marksmanship Patches. That's where I found this one too. This is actually an X-Files patch. I got a really old Ontario Revolvers Association. They're not even around anymore. I go up to the top here. This is a reproduction. I think the guy said it was British. Couple of those and SS Kent Scottish Canada, that's our militia. I'll flip around to the front here. We got a Ruger firearms patch. It's a Canadian one I picked up at a dollar store. Now I really don't like buttons, but they didn't have uh, the patch out. I think they got one out now for the Canadian Gun Nuts forum. I just thought that was really cool. This is in RAF, Royal Air Force. This one, this chick gave it to me. It's I think it's for Parks Canada. I really like this one. It's not going to focus very well, but it's from Vancouver 2010 Olympics. It's a little biathlete. This is a Ontario Revolvers Association pin. This is Sport Our Troops ribbon pin. This one here got from the Veterans uh, Motorcycle Club. It's for remembrance of veterans with poppies and the Canadian Maple Leaf. This is the Canadian Shooting Sports Association pin. That one there should be fairly self-explanatory. Canadian Shooting Sports patch. Canadian U.S. pin. Canadian flag. Go to the other side here. There's some damn right words. We got another Royal Canadian Air Force pin. Another Canadian Shooting Sports pin. I got my buddy Smiley. I believe that's Army Canadian patch. We'll look at the got on the shoulders here. We got a. It's probably Navy because it's a blue Canadian shoulder patch. I got a couple crossed Enfields. A couple crossed pistols. So I got some other ones that I haven't gotten sewn on here. I'm not sure what these are from. I just find them here and there and pick them up. That they're cool. I like the Batitude. Surprising I get in trouble with copyright on that, but and if, there's the F SSF shoulder patch, uh, Devil's Brigade. That's a reproduction. This is a Canadian Army Warrant Officer. This one, I found out what it was. Uh, it's Canadian military. There's a, I found a guy's website who has the Canadian patches, what they made, and it's something to do with uh, the fitness training. I can't remember what it was. This one here I found an antique shop. It's the Canadian Navy. Here we have... NATO Tigers, hard to be humble. And got get wings or die trying. 0401. Fighter weapons instructor. Canadian Royal Air Force. Then I got some other ones that aren't military, but some of them are shooting and some are just cool. This one I actually found at a dollar store. I just thought it was kind of cool. Cool. Another Terrio Handgun Association patch. Here's an oldie but a goodie. Ted Nugent's World Bow Hunters. These ones, a uh, guy I go with a club with, he went and shot at Camp Perry and got these and he gave them to me. Small bore rifle. A buddy of mine went out and bought some stuff and 
gave me these, which is really cool. We got an HKA patch. The gray and black. The traditional red and black. We also got this one here. North American Hunting Club, life member. That was really cool. I was happy you found those and gave them to me, so that's pretty much all the ones I've got. Uh, if I get any more, I'll show them off. So if anybody else happens to come across this and you got some patches, uh, show them off. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you on the flip side.